I have a game this week. Ooh. Very well researched. Interesting. <laughs> He's shaking shakes his head. head. <laughs> shakes head. Rolls eyes. Um, I came up with the name for this game mm. a while ago. Oh, uh, it's one of these. And since then, bit of bad news. So if this is some small tribute to Kobe, oh, just in the name of the game. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a name, a game I like to call corn on the kobe sports people have careers but they don't always last and what are they to do when it's all in the past they open up restaurants from here to nairobi and call them something clever like corn on the kobe it's good it like doesn't really work until you see it written down because kobe (laughs) doesn't sound like cop but (laughs) i get it um so this is about food, uh-huh. food and restaurants. Because I thought corn on the Kobe would be a good street food stall. It, it would have for been Kobe. Certainly have. would have been. Yeah, <laughs> um, it would have been superb corn on the Kobe. So this is about sports stars who own restaurants, oh. or who have had food like restaurant dishes named after them. Oh, okay. I like this. So you'll like, pick up fairly. Quickly. Yeah, yeah. It's like that Dutch guy with his restaurant in Holland. Do you remember that? That was from a quiz from a few weeks ago. Yes. Who was it? Yeah. Can't remember what his name remember. was. No, or me. That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> All this quizzing we do, uh, <laughs> don't remember any of it. Uh, so, question one: mm-hmm. What is the name of Rio Ferdinand's Italian restaurant? Is it Rio Grande? Oh. Rosso. Or. <laughs> <laughs> Ferdinando's. <laughs> the Isle of Ferdinando's. <laughs> you see they're cancelling that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's crap show, isn't it? But still, oh, I like Paddy McGuinness. <laughs> um, so, Ferdinando's, Rio Grande. Or Rosso. Or Rosso. Rosso, I don't get that from him. Like, why? Where's it's a nickname, isn't it? <laughs> Rosso. Rosso. Oh, Rosso over there. Rosso well, no, it's not Rosso. <laughs> it's Rio. It's longer than Rio. <laughs> yeah. It's not a nickname. <laughs> Idiots. So, Rosso means red as well in Italian, I think. Yes. Which is possible. I can see that. Rio Grande. Grande is... Is Grande... Yeah, Grande is Italian. Is, yeah. yeah. Spanish as well. Mm, possible. Possible, but I think... Big Rio. Yeah, big, <laughs> big Rio. fat Rio. <laughs> I'll be him after he's eaten here a few, <laughs> a few times. I don't get Ferdinando's. That's rubbish. <laughs> That's like Nando's, but with Rio Ferdinand at the start. Yeah, it's F- Rio Ferdinand's restaurant, it's, it's isn't it? It's chicken shop. <laughs> Rio Ferdinand's chicken house. <laughs> uh, so I don't think it's Ferdinando's. I th- I'm going to go with... I think Rosso. You're going with Rosso. It's the most unimaginative and therefore probably correct knowing Rio Ferdinand. You would be right. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, did it. And it's not red at all. It might, the restaurant isn't. Yeah. <laughs> it might be. You don't know. I've, Wait, I've you played for Man United? <laughs> oh, right. He oh, was, he was a red. So yeah, yeah, that must be it. Where is it, do you know? Uh, it is in Manchester. Oh, is it? Yeah. Does he live in Manchester? He's a Londoner, isn't he? Like, he came from London. I don't know if he still yeah. lives in Manchester. I think maybe. it's in Manchester. Yeah, it? yeah. Cool. I looked at pictures. Yeah, nice. Did it look nice? It looked like generic Italian restaurant. Is it Italian? Is it, yeah. <laughs> uh, a restaurant in France has named a burger after Zlatan. What is it called? Big fan of this. Is it Le Zlatan? Yeah. The Zlam Burger? <laughs> yeah. Or E. Burgerhimovic? <laughs> I wish it was that last one. <laughs> it's not, but I wish it was. <laughs> Can I also say, it's not Le Zlatan. He's La. He's La Zlatan. He's feminine. He's feminine. <laughs> oh, I love that Lee Mac joke. <laughs> um, so what was it? Le Zlatan. What was the middle one? I wasn't listening. Zlamburger. The Zlamburger. That's possible. Is it, what, Z-L-A-M? Yeah. That is possible. Who do you play for in France? Do you play for PSG? PSG, yeah. So it's a PSG fan mm. uh, who owns Doddy's Cafe in Paris. Ah, it's a cafe. And they do burgers. Yeah, mm. fancy cafe. Mm. Proper fancy. Um, 
So it's like one of the first two. It's not the last one. You don't, <laughs> we... you, you don't like E. Burger Humovic. I do love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's genius. And I think he should open that restaurant after he finishes playing. <laughs> but I don't think that's right. Um, so I'm going to go for the Zlam Burger. I don't want it to be Le Zlatan. It's rubbish. You're going Zlam Burger? Yeah. It should be, oh. but it isn't. <laughs> You came up with Slam Burger. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Because <laughs> it like it brings across the essence of Zlatan without actually saying that it's Zlatan. Yeah. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, so he wanted a standout burger yeah. that would epitomise Zlatan. Yeah. So this is 600 <laughs> grams of minced beef. With... Is it just lots of feet? <laughs> it just kicks you. 600 grams of minced beef with Ooh. onions, bacon, and three types of cheese, including... It says including... It just lists uh, <laughs> just the three cheeses. Uh, Emmental and Uva, Uvergine, Uvergine blue, uh, Aubergine, a blue cheese, uh, a stinky blue cheese. Bleh. All contained in a giant bun that has been specially made for the restaurant. Oh, nice! How much? You say six hundred grams of beef. Yeah. How much is that in like pounders? That's like three pounds, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. That's a big old burger. That is, yeah. Whoa. Oh, well, I guess, like, he's a big old boy, so he, is. <laughs> he would have a big burger. Well, good. It sounds like it kind of, it kind of does, like, brings across the essence of Zlatan. Stinky and annoying <laughs> and massive. <laughs> so, uh, question three. Uh-huh. What famous food has New York Nick Carmelo Anthony had named after him. Ooh, former Carme- uh, former New York Nick. No longer. Yes. Was it a cereal? Caramel O's. It's quite good. Or yeah, an American. Because they say caramel, don't they? Caramel. Caramel O's. Yeah, that's really good. Um, marshmallows. Some marshmallows. Wait, where's the marsh come from? Oh, from Mar. What? Because, well... We pronounce them marshmallows, but they're actually marshmallows, so they've spelt it marshmallows. Marshmallow for the end of Carmelo. Yeah. I get you. Yeah, I got you. Or simply a sandwich called Mellows. I feel like it's going to be the last one because <laughs> <laughs> they've been quite boring so far. <laughs> but I like Carmelo's is really good as a cereal. Yeah, you like, just like Cheerios, aren't they? Yeah, and just but with caramel on them. Cause, <laughs> Which sounds really American. Because they're American, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't, I don't think you can have caramel on a cereal, can you? They I have think... marshmallows, like... They have the marshmallows, Lucky, but... Lucky Charms. Yeah, but you can't have caramel. It wouldn't go well with the milk. I think it would, like... Oh, I don't know. I mean, it would taste great, but I don't <laughs> think it would... I think something weird would happen with caramel. If you put caramel in milk, do you think that would work? Just make really really sugary sticky milk. milk. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I don't think it's going to be that one. I really want it to be, <laughs> but I don't think it will be. What was the middle one? Uh, the marshmallows. So what was that in the end? That it's, was, a, it's a marshmallow. They are marshmallows. marshmallows oh, okay, yeah, right, got you. So it's marshmallows with M E L O at the end. Yeah, that is possible. He is known as Mellow. Yeah, and the last one was. A sandwich. A boring sandwich. Mellows. I think it probably is the last one, sadly. You go in sad mellows. Yeah, <laughs> I am. You'd be right. Yeah. It is Boo. sad mellows. Sad mellows. <laughs> a towering sandwich made up of an ungodly amount of pastrami, salami, corned beef, bacon, tomato, Jesus. Russian dressing on rye bread. Oh, my God. There's so much meat it in that sandwich. It is huge. Really? It is massive. It's like my forearm. What? <laughs> what, like deep? Tall, yeah. Oh, my God. That is terrifying. Uh, How would you even eat that? Yeah. You can't, like, you can't, like squish it down. Because <laughs> you have to have a massive mouth, like all Americans. Made by Carnage Deli. Okay. So it is carnage. Yeah, they sound like they're sort of specialists in making food that no one can eat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sad that it's not Carmelo's. Yeah. Can we, again, can you try and make those, please? <laughs> I think we need to mock up prototypes of all these ones that aren't <laughs> that aren't real. And many more. And many There's more. There's many more out there, I'm I sure. I bet there are. Question four. Mm-hmm. What was the name of Vincent Company's failed restaurant? 
Ooh. Or I say restaurant, sports bar. Failed okay. sports bar. Yep. Was it Good Company? It's good. Vinny's? Yeah. Or VC's Sports Bar? Ooh. VC's? Yeah. That isn't how you spell his name. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you've got that wrong <laughs> straight away. VK's? Yeah. <laughs> already taken. Oh, yeah. Like, like VK drink. That's true. But I don't think he would have changed his name legally by default to VC. He doesn't need to change his name. <laughs> I don't think people would know who you're talking about if <laughs> it was VC. Um, I have a feeling it was Vinny's because I think... Oh, I might Because be he's wrong. a gangster. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> it could be Vinny Company. It could be Vinny Jones. You don't know. <laughs> uh, what was the first one? Good Company. Good Company. I mean, it's good again, isn't it? It's really, it's a much better name, but I think the right answer is Vinny's, unfortunately. You're going boring Vinny's. Yeah, boring Vinny's. You'd be wrong. Ooh. <laughs> is it good company? It is good company. Is it really? Yeah. That's great. It is really good. Good on you. And, and he, it failed. How unfortunate. Uh, opened up the sports bars in his home country just before the 2014 World Cup in, uh, World Cup had two sports bars, one in Brussels and one in Antwerp. Yeah. Closed just over a year later. No, no. Didn't last long. That is not long at all. And he wanted it more of like a uh, lounge feel. So yeah. Good Company was a good, yeah, good, it's a, good name. Yeah, it's a very good name. Good on him. Like, it would have been better in England, probably, where they speak English. Whereas <laughs> in Belgium, probably all the Flemish people are just looking at it like, I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, question five mm. what is the name of Maria Sharapova's line of candy yep Pova Pops yeah <laughs> Sugar Pova yeah or Sweet Aces <laughs> Sweet Aces <laughs> she has got Sweet Aces <laughs> uh, I know the answer to this one you do I do it is Sugar Pova it is Sugar Pova Pova Pops is superb and <laughs> she's missed a trick there <laughs> Sugar Pover is awful, isn't it? I I, I also thought of a cereal line, Pover Puffs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Pover Pover Puff Girls. <laughs> That's a good cartoon. So just really loudly screaming all the cartoon characters <laughs> always just grunting all the time. <laughs> so for those of you not familiar with mm. Sugar Pover, yeah, uh, quite a big line yeah. of candy. She she has really expanded her brand. Like, yeah, there's a lot of Maria Sharapova stuff out there. From what I could see, the sweets are mainly lips, lip shaped things. Oh, really? Like gummy lips, milk chocolate covered gummy lips. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. Well, you know, like you you know, you get like the toothbrush and lips sweets. Yeah, they're gummy. Yeah, they're gummy, but with chocolate on them. Oh, the milk chocolate cover. Yeah, I don't, yeah, like, I don't like the similar. sound of that at all. And lemon lime flavor tennis balls. And they actually look like little tennis balls. That's it's quite clever. That's actually. really good. I, I like, like that it. a lot. <laughs> so are they like yellow? I guess they're like green and yellow with like the yeah, they've yellow got the, coloring. Like, oh, that's so good. Green with then like the faint with white. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a big fan they're of They're really that. good. That's really good. I'm going to try. What are they made out of? I don't. Uh, Oh, like I don't know. Sherbet or something? Yeah, maybe. Big fan of that anyway. <laughs> like, good honour. Good honour for sticking close to her original yeah. brand. <laughs> so you are three from f five at the moment. Yeah, doing all right. Doing all right. I actually knew the answer to a question. That's yeah. very rare for one of our quizzes. <laughs> um, so question six. Mm -hmm. Frank Lampard was the former owner of which Chelsea pub? Ooh. The Pig's Ear. Yeah. Pig's Ear Beer. Wait, what? Rhyming slang. The pig's ear. Oh, beer. got you. The fat snail. Fat snail ale. Ale, that's good. Or the grapevine. Wine. Mm. That's a that's rubbish, Cockney rhyming slang, if that's right. Because wine comes from grapevines. Normally, it's something completely opposite. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have like the same thing. <clears throat> Football or any. That's, that's true, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so are you saying that he named this pub or he just bought it? Uh, I think he named the pub right. and now has been taken over by somebody else. Okay. Yeah, because like, pubs are failing. Like, pubs are a terrible thing to buy. Yeah. Um, pig's ear. Now, he generally makes a pig's ear of everything. So would 
makes sense. That he made a pig's ear of this. That he made a pig's ear of a bub straight away <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he opened it. <coughs> uh, what was the other one? The fat snail. The fat snail ale. I like that as Cockney Roman slang. But you wouldn't shorten it to fat, would you? Because <laughs> no- normally you take the last word off and just use the first one, don't you? Yeah. So, what was the first Pine one? Pint of fat. Yeah. <laughs> gives, a, <laughs> gives a fat. <laughs> Pint of pig. Pint of fat. Yeah. Not that different. <laughs> Pint yeah, of grape. <laughs> they, they sell it by the pints. <laughs> Pint of grape. In this pub they did. In London, isn't it? You've got to try and forget. <laughs> Cost you 20 quid though. Yeah, almost. Well, 20 quid, that's cheap <laughs> for a pint of wine. Um, So I think it's one of the first two, and I'm going to go with the first one. He's made a right pig's ear of it. You'd be right. Yeah. He didn't do well with it at all. Of course he didn't, and it was also called that. <laughs> uh, so is it is it rhyming slang? Is that a real thing? The pig's ear one is. Yeah. The fat snail I made up. It's quite good. And it's quite good. Grapevine I made up. Yeah. The one for wine's terrible. I is there a real one for one? Yeah. Is there? Oh, there's a real one for everything. It probably is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't remember what the real one for ale was, but again, didn't make a good Not pub good name. Not good enough for a pub name. <laughs> yeah. The fat snail is very good. I do like it. I was trying to think of another pub name that would imply you made a hash of it. Yeah. But I could only think of like hash. <laughs> 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 and uh, it's not a very catchy as a pub name, it is, is it? Not. The Hash. <laughs> it's not bad, <laughs> to be fair. Well, I did think the Bungle. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> what, the Lampard Bungle. What? <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it. We'll work on it for you, Frank, <laughs> for your next <laughs> one. <laughs> or for our new pub. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We're, we're going to have to start all these things. So. Yeah. Uh, question seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, final question. Oh, okay. I'm doing well, aren't I? Yeah, you are four from six. I'm already over 500. I don't even care about the last question. Which of these joint ventures owned by Gary Neville and Ryan Giggs is still open? Oh, good question. I bet this is a trick (laughs) question. None of them. They're all terrible businessmen. Cafe football. (laughs) That's so bad. Hotel football. (laughs) Or rabbit in the moon. Oh, nice. Is that a pub? That is a... uh, It's like... It's a restaurant. Oh, okay. It's a good name. Are they all real? Yep. Ah, and only <laughs> one of them is surviving. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> I remember them opening Hotel Football. I don't remember... I don't, I don't really remember them opening it. I remember them putting up homeless people in it at one point. I think point. that's a different... Oh, is that different? I think so. I think that because... And they're opening uh, another hotel soon. Oh, really? The Stock Exchange. Oh, these are all in like Manchester sort of area, aren't they? They've been they've put a lot of money back into the Manchester area, which is, yeah. is good, isn't it? And also taken a lot out in debt. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they've also run these visitors into the ground, so <laughs> maybe not so good, but still. Because I, I I couldn't find just like a list, but there are definitely other ventures that they have yeah. which have also failed as well. Yeah, I, <laughs> I wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> like they're involved in Salford as well, aren't they? Is that? Yeah. The- are they all involved in that one? Is that Salford? Yeah, that's like the class of 99. Yeah. I oh, know David Beckham has bought into it. Yeah, now. they all sort of bought into it. And they've like skyrocketed that club from from nowhere to yeah. now almost being a league club, I think, aren't they? Um, but, by the by, uh, which of those is real? Cafe Football is one of the worst names <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, hotel Football is not much better, yeah. but Cafe Football is so rubbish. <laughs> And the last one, I like the last one. What was it? The hair rabbit in the moon? In, rabbit, rabbit in the moon. Rabbit in the moon. I like that. I like that name. And so I want that one to succeed. So I'm going to say that. You think rabbit in the moon is still open? Yeah. You'd be wrong. Oh, that no. has closed. <laughs> hotel football going strong. Oh, I was going to go with hotel football <laughs> as well because you know what I'd heard of. <laughs> or I hadn't heard of it as it turned out. But anyway. Yeah. Ah, uh, so they weren't good restauranteurs, is that what you're telling me? They yep. weren't good chefs. <laughs> that is what I'm telling you, yep. <laughs> well, that's a shame. So Gary Neville and Ryan Giggs have their own, like, um, hospitality company. Yeah. Uh, Gigi. Uh-oh. Um, Gary and Giggs. Yep. Awful. That's so bad. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to come up with a question before I saw that all their things had failed. I was <laughs> going to say which of these... Uh, 
is a restaurant owned by Gary Neville and Ryan Giggs. Yeah. And one of the fake names I'd oh, come up with was Gigi's. Gigi's. But then I saw it's the <laughs> name of that. Turns out that's actually real. <laughs> <laughs> They're stupid. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's bad. Yeah. Um, so you scored a quite commendable four out of seven. I'll take it. I'm pretty pleased you with that. You get yourself some sugar povers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tennis balls. I want them. <laughs> People have careers, but they don't always last. And what are they to do when it's all in the past? They open up restaurants from here to Nairobi and call them something clever like Conan the Kobe.